Hello and welcome to the Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity Course Information Webinar. In this webinar we're going to introduce you to the following topics. Are you cyber ready? Why study cybersecurity? The Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity Delivery Modes. Full-time and part-time opportunities. Some of the units that are covered in the certificate. And what are the expectations of students studying at Box Hill Institute? Are you cyber ready? To prepare you for studying the Certificate for in Cybersecurity, Box Hill Institute has the following recommendations. Are you proficient in Microsoft Office, including Word, PowerPoint, Excel? Do you have knowledge and experience of how to navigate the Windows operating system? Are you confident with your mathematics? Have you had exposure to programming operations and different data types? Do you have the ability to analyze or create technical documentation? and have the potential to communicate and obtain tasks in a group environment. Why study cybersecurity? This security graph was taken from Microsoft's Identity and Threat Protection Service that shows 470 billion emails have been analysed in order to protect the users. 630 billion login authentications have been scanned and verified. Microsoft scans over 1.2 billion devices and detects about 5 billion for threats on these devices each month. It's also still picking up and analysing 6.5 trillion threats daily and still scans over 18 billion Bing pages. The point of this graph-based intelligence is to connect the dots between various signals to develop threat alerts and provide organisations with a clearer picture of attacks that are underway such as phishing attacks, targeting devices, email accounts, and other things that could come in via the web. It's been widely reported that there is a skill shortage in the cybersecurity industry. Although this shortage is being addressed by the Certificate for Advanced Diploma and Bachelor's of Cybersecurity, it takes time for these graduates to climb the ladder into experienced positions. This is a contributing factor to the availability of large-scale products being handled by medium and even in some cases smaller cybersecurity related businesses. The Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity program is offered across three of our main campuses. In Box Hill at the Nelson campus, just a short walk from the Box Hill train station, offering both part-time and full-time. Our city campus, a short walk from Flinders Street Station, also part-time and full-time. And our Lilydale Lakeside campus, currently only offering the part-time opportunities. The full-time availability will be delivered by Nelson and in the city. This course is to run two days a week with a proposed time of 8am to 6pm on each of those two days. The course duration is one year and is divided into two semesters of each 18 weeks. In semester one, there are nine units that are delivered and in semester two, there are seven units that are delivered. Each semester has two terms, which run for nine weeks each, as shown in the graphic. The part-time schedule is run over two years at Nelson, the city, and at our Lakeside campus in Lilydale. At Nelson campus in the city, we run it in the evenings from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., whereas at Lilydale Lakeside, it's run during the day. Two years divided into two semesters for each year, each of 18 weeks. In the first year, the first semester, we have six units, then four units in semester two. In the second year, the first semester, we have two units and four units in semester two. Each semester is broken into two terms of nine weeks each. A brief overview of some of the units. BSB RES 401, analyze and present research information. This is about researching, evaluating the quality of information, preparing reports, 
looking at different sources of these reports. RII COM 301D, communicate information. This is about communication, communication skills, participating in a meeting, making presentations. VU 21990, recognize the need for cybersecurity in an organization. This unit identifies threats, compasses in our networks, common cyber security attack mechanisms, and identify those threats, PC systems and down to small Internet of Things devices. And we look at the tools we can use to protect from cyber attacks. ICT PRG 407, write scripts for software applications. This unit is about scripting and scripting languages to help us with automation software. And the main focus script we use is Python. ICT, ICT 418, contribute to copyright, ethics, and privacy in an ICT environment. We look at the knowledge to maintain professional ethical conduct and to ensure our personal information is handled with confidential professional manner. It's about legislation, policies, regulations. BSBWH 401, implement and monitor work health safety policies, procedures and programs. This is all about work health and safety policies, procedures and programs. Who's responsible and what skills we use to create solutions for unpredictable problems. VU21993, Secure Network Personal Computer. This unit is all about protecting the endpoint, our windows, even Internet of Things, and a basic introduction to the Linux commands. VU21994, Perform Basic Cybersecurity Data Analysis. This is about analyzing the data as it's received from our logging sources, understanding what's going on talks about software tools that we can use to detect and understand this data as it comes in. ICT PRG 405, Automate Processes. This is about more writing scripts and scripting applications. VU 21988, Utilize basic network concepts and protocols required in cybersecurity. This is about our networking concepts switches, routers, TCP IP, routing and filtering, and understanding how these protocols can be used in a cyber attack and how we can protect ourselves from these attacks. VU21989, Test Concepts and Procedures for Cybersecurity. This one is also about networking, but looking a little bit higher level, firewalls, different types of hacking attacks, social engineering, port scanning, sniffers, traffic sniffers, denial of service. VU21996, evaluate and test an incident response plan for an enterprise. This is looking at the documentation and how we're going to build our response plan and how we're going to have some bit of red team, blue team to understand how to act when a breach occurs. VU21997, Expose Website Security Vulnerabilities. The Open Web Application Security Project is a great resource for us to utilize and learn how we can protect our websites from cyber threats. VU21991, Implement Network Security Infrastructure for an Organization. Here we look at firewalls, routers, wireless, intrusion prevention, and IPsec. VU21995, Manage the Security Infrastructure for an Organization. This unit looks at the skills required to manage this infrastructure. We evaluate the risks and we implement controls and monitoring for auditing to make sure that our security infrastructure is okay. VU21992, Develop a Cybersecurity Industry Project. This is where we look at an entire overall project, building up our network from the ground up protecting ourselves with firewalls, routers, intrusion detection. And we utilize the ideas of the red team, blue team to understand how the hackers 
doing their work and how we're going to defend ourselves from that risk. It is expected that the students enrolled in the Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity Program will now just take a degree of self-study to increase their learning capacity and ensure that assignments timeframes are met. Before the course starts, it's expected the student would hold some basic IT skills and have a genuine interest in the subject matter. The student should attend all timetable classes and inform the relevant personnel if they are unable to do so or if there's a change in their personal circumstances. The student must adhere to the policies of the Box Hill Institute. It is expected that students be prepared for all classes and maintain motivation to complete their studies in the provided time frame. The student must attend the orientation session to obtain their personal training plan and receive the required relevant information before the commencement of their study. Please note that the Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity is a practically designed course that requires regular attendance and participation to complete. The Certificate 4 is a face-to-face -face classroom based course. And here are some photos of an example of a typical class taking place. Thank you for your time and watching this Cybersecurity Certificate 4 webinar. For any, any inquiries, please email cyber at boxhill.edu.au or call us on 1300 025 415. Hope to see you soon.